Guys, what is today, guys? What is today? Guys, today is April 13, 2024. Marks the eight-year anniversary of Mamba Day, where Kobe put together a legendary 60-point mic drop performance to conclude his basketball career. To celebrate this moment, guys, three iconic colorways return paying homage to the places that shaped the Black Mamba. Guys, today here we have the Nike Kobe a Pro Cho Venice Beach. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sneakers and Chris. I'm back here with another video for you guys today. And of course, we do have an unfoot. So make sure to tune in down the whole video so you guys can see how these look on foot. But before we start this video, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, guys, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys haven't joined the family yet, if you guys want to stay connected with me, my socials will be on the screen and down below in the description box. But now let's dive in straight into these Kobe's. Alright guys, so starting with the box, as we always do first, we have our Kobe box, which is all black and you have some scale on the box. Um, probably not, let me see if you guys could catch the scales if you guys haven't seen the box yet. But it feels good in person and looks good in person. We have the um, Kobe logo right here in a gloss black. We have signature right here, gloss black. We have some swoosh right here in gloss black. And really much the details, not crazy details, but it is a cool box. You have the label right here. I'll insert a screenshot in case you guys want to see the label a little clearer. And I'll also read it for you guys. The label reads Kobe A Pro Tro colorway is stadium gray metallic silver. That's the colorway. Um, um, this size is a size 10 in men's, women's 11.5. Style code is FQ3548001. Made in Vietnam, men's UK is a 9, women's UK is a 9. And let's open this bad boy up. You have the interior of the box in black. You have standard white paper wrapping. And besides that, it should be the shoe in there. Alright guys, so now that we're done with the box, let's jump straight into these Kobe's and talk about some details. I'm pretty geeked right now, and it's a lot of reasons why I'm geeked. And the more, really, it just one, it's the Kobe 8, the Venice Beach. Um, guys, I'm not sure if I'm the only one, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys, but these throwback basketball, Nike basketball shoes, like when it comes down to Kobe's, when it comes out, come down to throwback LeBrons, um, throwback KD's, these throwback colorways releases, when they re release a few years later, it just feels nice because them, them releases was the best release in Nike basketball. I'm not throwing shades to these new current releases, but we all can say that the past releases, the throwback releases, are one of the best releases in the Nike basketball lineup shoes. Let's dive in more into these shoes. This shoe guys released today, April the 13th, at retail of 190 before tax. It released on sneakers, which is already sold out. It was a draw on sneakers at 11, not at 11, not 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock for all the three drops from the Venice Beach to Italian Camels and to the Phillies. All three was a draw, and that was your chance of getting them. Um, they also released in a couple stores, Insta Raffle and Full Locker. I was able to snag this pair off of um, the Full Locker app reservation. The Phillies, the Full Locker in my area only had one of each size. So that was a very, very hard one to get. Um, so, but luckily I was able to hit on the Venice Beach. Comment, lo comment below if you guys was able to hit at retail. Um, I do want to know if you get whatever you guys copped, whether it's the uh, Venice Beach or the Phillies or the Italian Camel. Just want to know if you guys copped. I From the 2013 pair guys I never had a chance to just sit there hold the shoe in hand and just you know take my time to look at the color analyze the shoe you know I've seen it before on people's feet and you know just a little glance and yeah it's a cool colorway but in person when you're just holding it this this blank is fire guys this blank is fire and let me show you guys an up close look on the camera so you guys can see if in case you guys never seen this colorway the Venice Beach colorway
We have the upper and the engineer mesh material with all the hits of colors, that Venice Beach color on the upper area. You guys can see hits of red, hits of um, um, turquoise blue, hits of green, hits of yellow. It's a whole mixture of colorways. Around the mesh area, you have your laces in yellow with hits of like little red on your laces. Right behind your laces in silver and your tongue in silver. Kobe logo, you have the Kobe logo right here in yellow. And then around the logo, you have some hits of colorways. Um, the only thing I don't like about the tongue is this this type of tongue material. It could get very, uh, it, this type of tongue material could be very annoying. You know, it could um, cause some little pain. Um, when you're wearing it, especially depending if your socks is not really thick, you're really gonna feel it. And honestly, just a little heads up. But behind the tongue, you have behind the tongue and the turquoise blue colorway. You have some hits of orange going on right here. You have your eyelids in a silver um, colorway. You have your swoosh in silver, which is reflective. The outline of the swoosh, you have it in yellow. You have another swoosh on the other side, but it is all yellow. And around the swoosh, you have it in silver colorway. Going to the insole of the shoe, guys. You have the insole of the shoe. You have the sock liner in an orange colorway. You have the insole of the shoe in green with the Mamba logo right here. Let me see if I can pull out this insole so you guys can see. This what it looks. Again, like I said, you have the Mamba logo right here. You have some scale the same way the box is. You have some scale filling right here, but it's not it's not a problem. Um, the insole does feel good and comfortable. It does feel a little bouncy. As you guys can see on the back of your heel, it obviously kind of looks like it's a little bouncy. So definitely pretty good when you're on the court, obviously. And you have under it, you guys can see this is a Nike React. And so... Moving away from the end, so guys, let's go to the midsole area. You have the midsole area and the turquoise blue as well. You have right here um, the Kobe logo, the Mamba logo right here. And then let's go to the also area. We have a rubber also where on this side is scales as well. Again, this is a good traction for basketball, especially indoor basketball. And as, as well, outdoor basketball is pretty good. You should be pretty good when it comes down to traction. When you're playing ball with these shoes, you have more Kobe logo right here. The outside is in that turquoise blue and you have the Kobe logo and um orange let's take a brief pause on these kobe's real quick i want to tell you and show you guys about an app called kick snap what's going on you guys you guys ever seen shoes on somebody's feet and wonder what's the name or where can you guys get them well guess what there's this app called kick snap and it will definitely help you with that one of the features get on the app click take a picture take a picture size it up it'll load search up a sticker for you now you see it, it'll take you where to buy it. Second, if you have a picture in your camera roll, just upload it from the photo album, size it up, it'll search it up, it'll take you where to buy it. You guys already know the name of it, you guys could type it up in the search bar, it'll search it up, it'll show you the link where to buy it. It also has a new release feature, so you guys could always see the new releases in the new release section. Over to the kick rack section, you guys could be able to save, purchase, share all your favorite sneakers from Nike, GOAT, sneakers, StockX, Amazon, and more sites. KickSnap is basically the Shazam of sneakers. So if you guys want this app, go ahead and download the latest version in your app store. So now that you guys seen the up close look and on for a look of the Venice Beach Kobe 8, comment below how you guys feel about this release. I know a lot of you guys probably gonna say it is a 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10. And I'm agree with you guys. I'm agree with you guys. This is definitely a 10 out of 10. A lot of great Kobe releases. So it's it's a it's a very it's a very tough spot to put them. Which one is number one, which one is number five, which one is number 10. But definitely I'll say this is a top 10, top 15, in my honest opinion. But now let's dive into sizing in case you guys do not know what size to go for when it comes down to Kobe H Pro Tro Venice Beach. And guys, you guys can go through the size. Um, 
When it comes down to basketball shoes or when it comes down to Nike shoes, I go from either a nine and a half or a 10, um, especially basketball shoes, my true size is a 10. But if I feel like it's gonna be tight and I need a little, a little more room, I'll go for a 10 and a half. But these are perfectly fine with a 10, so that's why I'm saying you guys can go true to size. If you guys feel like you guys have super wide feet, then go half up, um, just so you guys can have some room. But you guys should be good if you guys have regular standard feet. You guys should be good with going true to size, whether you guys playing ball or not. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the arm foot. If you guys did, please not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Join the family if you guys haven't yet. I appreciate the love and support. I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's Stickers and Chris. I'm out. See you guys.